Hello everyone, my name is Piper, and if you are here watching this video, that means you are here to see how I am going to make a flower hat. Flower hats have kind of been a thing on TikTok, and Scotty on YouTube recently made a video about how she made a flower hat, and so I thought that I would give it a go. This is not an original idea. It's not gonna be a how-to video. This is just gonna be the process of me making a flower hat to wear to the Ren Fair when I go with my friends late in August. <laughs> so what I have currently is sheets of craft felt that I got at Michael's. They were 49 cents each. I got five of this yellow one then I have two of this yellow orange, and then I only got one of the green. And that's because I don't know if I want to make a stem for my hat or just leaves. Um, so I just got one for now, and I can always go back for more if I need. So I got eight sheets of this craft felt, which is a uh, nine by 12. So a little bit bigger than a letter sized piece of paper. And then I, just using paper, printer paper, I just drew out this generic petal shape. It's kind of like an eye shape. I think this side is a little bit longer than this side. So ideally this is gonna be the top. And wear it on my head like this. I did cut out five of these. Um, I tore the one off to use as a pattern piece, but see if we're gonna open it. Oh, I think it's taped together. Okay, I also have this, which is just a paper mock-up. Um, there's five petals on here right now, so. As you can see, it'll be like a flower hat. So these are the main petals that I'm gonna cut out with this yellow felt. And then I thought that I could, with this orange felt, make smaller petals to kind of overlap on top. And then the green leaves will go on top of everything else. And I'm going for a yellow flower because I recently thrifted a very lovely yellow dress that I'm planning on wearing to the Ren Fair because as I said, we're going in August and it's gonna be so hot. And the dress I thrifted is like spaghetti strap, nice summer flowy dress. So I just wanted something to have like a more casual Ren Fair option, but still look cute. So that's why we're gonna make a hat to go with it. I'm so excited. So come along on this journey as I make my flower fairy felt hat. So here I am tracing out the petal pattern piece onto the felt with a yellow Sharpie. I used a yellow Sharpie that was slightly darker than the felt itself and that ended up working really nice. And then I cut out all of the petals from the felt and you can just use a regular craft scissors to do this. This is sort of the base of the flower hat that I have so far. And I have to paint these petals to give them a little bit more dimension. One of the things that I don't know is I don't know if I want the hat to be sewn together like this or with right sides together. I'm going to do two layers of petals. So I think I'll do, I'll do it like this for this layer and then maybe I'll sew down the top layer of petals like this. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I have to paint these. All right, I got my painting area set up here. I'm gonna try and paint two petals at a time. And then 
this is the dress that I'm trying to match the paint to. So yeah, now I can paint. So here I am painting one of the petals for this hat and you can see I went in with a paint that was lighter than the felt itself at the bottom of the leaf and then I went in with paint that sort of matched the color of the felt in the middle and then lastly on every leaf I went in at the top with a more orange sort of paint that would match the color of the second layer of petals. So I'm sort of just creating an ombre effect on each of these leaves and you can see that I'm using also a glass of water to dilute the paint and help it to spread around the petals way better. This is a tip that came from Dress Me Up Scotty's video she wetted her leaves with i think a spray bottle but i'm just using this glass of water and it works extremely well so yeah i recommend also to dilute the paint on your petals and then i took the petals to my sewing machine and if you do this i recommend that you paint the petals after you sew them together because there is still so much yellow paint dust in my, my sewing machine, but it's fine, it's fine, it worked. It, it did work. This is what my flower fairy hat currently looks like. I have whip stitched these orange petals down to the yellow petals. And right now I still have these yellow petals pinned into place, curled up, I think I'm just gonna tack them down. And as you can see, it's a little bit too big, so I think I'm going to add a string to tie it around my chin when it is done. But currently, what I'm going to do is cut out some green leaves to sew to the top of the hat. I've made this little template. So the idea is that it will just go on top like that and then it will be like leaves, but it will also be a stem. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today is gonna cut out some green leaves and paint them and then it will probably take all day for them to dry. So then I'll have to wait for them to dry and sew them on a different day. But that is today's plan. So as you may have noticed, I did not film any of the process of me making the second orange layer of petals. And evidently, I did not film me making any of these leaves either. That's okay. The process was the exact same as for the first layer, just smaller versions. And for the leaves, you can see I added veins into the leaves, and I did this by using a green Sharpie, and that worked well. So here I am just whip stitching the leaves down to the top of the hat with some green embroidery floss. Hello everyone. So this is what my flower hat currently looks like. As you see, I have these green felt leaves that I've painted and I sort of whip stitched them together at the top so they would create a little um, stem looking thing. So I've got a stem and then some leaves and then some orangish petals and then the yellow petals that I started with. And so currently I have these petals pinned into place, which I pinned them there when I dried them. So if I take the pins out, the petals kind of look like that. Let me take another one out. So it looks like this, which I don't like as much as when they are kept in place. So two of them I've already done. 
but I've tacked them down in place and I've just sort of used a uh, like an X in the stitching and then I tied it together underneath with a knot. This is what the underside of my hat looks like, by the way. You can see all of the exposed embroidery floss in here. I will probably one day add a lining to the inside of this hat, but I don't know if I'll have time to do that before I leave for my Ren Fair trip. So today I'm going to tack down the rest of these petals and then, so this is what it looks like on my head and it's a little bit too big. So I have this uh, string of green yarn that my sister let me use. This is my sister's yarn. And I've got two strands of a light green and then one darker green, and I'm gonna braid them together. And then I'm gonna sew it to like the inside of the hat so then I'll have a string to tie it around my chin. So those are the last few steps that I'm gonna do today. And then for the most part, this hat will be complete. So in order to tack down the petals onto themselves so that they keep their shape, I just used yellow embroidery floss and I took a long length of it and I just made an X shape over each of the petals. And the reason that I took a long length of the string is so that I could just go across from one petal to the next and around and around we go. So... Yeah, very simple, just an X shape with the thread. And after that, I tacked in place the string that I made and the hat was complete. So this is my flower hat. It's finished, it's done. I wore it to the Renaissance Festival with my friends, with the yellow dress. It was magical. We had so much fun. We went there for two days. So I wore this on the second day when we all wore our more whimsical fairy inspired outfits. And yeah, as you can see, she has held up pretty well. She did get a little bit smushed during the transportation <laughs> to the festival, but I was able to reshape her, no problem. So yeah, I feel like such a whimsical little fairy in this hat. I think it is very gorgeous and it was super easy to make. So I highly suggest that you make one for yourself if you're looking for something a little more casual to wear as an accessory to the Renaissance Festival. I also did not get super hot in this hat. I did get a little warm when we were out in the sun, but it was super manageable and we were there for the entire day. And just to show you, I have not yet lined the inside of this hat. So the inside still looks like this, a bunch of messes of thread, but it doesn't matter because it just sits on my head like that. Also, if you make a hat for the Renaissance Festival, be prepared for everyone to ask what type of flower you are because everyone asked me what type of flower I was and I had no answer to give them. I just made a yellow flower. Also, someone thought I was a pumpkin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you to make a flower hat because like I said, it was super easy and super fun. And I hope everyone has a 
magical, fantastical day. So thank you so much for watching and bye.